Hey guys, it's Friday, so it's time for Fun Fact Fridays, so let's fire it up. Today, I'm back again to break down some common music production lingo slash acronyms that you may hear from time to time and wonder, what are they talking about? So this is for the beginner, the novice, the uninitiated. The fun fact for this Friday is Ascend is a very clever and creative routing technique to get some interesting effects done and to gain some control over your mix. So essentially, let's say you have a track of audio. Let's say it's a snare and now you duplicate that snare track and you process the snare track differently from the original. So let's say you added guitar distortion, delay, and a very harsh reverb. So now after doing that, you can turn down the level of the duplicate snare to blend it with the level of the original snare signal to your liking, giving the overall snare in the entire composition a totally different vibe. Now it's fine to do it that way, but it's not efficient when you consider doing this parallel style of processing to other tracks in your composition. Now, sidebar, parallel processing is another bonus term for you to know. It's parallel because the process signal is running alongside the original one. So now back to sends. The way a send would work, instead of duplicating the track and then processing it differently, you would route the signal from the original via the send function in your DAW, which will send a duplicate but independent signal to another track where you can now process that track separately to achieve the same goal as explained in the earlier scenario. One of the advantages of this is the auxiliary channel with the effects or effect chain can have multiple channels be sent to it at varying levels to affect each individual sound differently. So a simple example would be to set up a big hall reverb on a auxiliary channel and now you can route a snare to that channel via the send at a very low level, putting just a small amount of reverb on that snare. But you can also now route a piano from the same mix via the send at a high level, drowning that piano in the same reverb. And let's say we had 12 tracks of background vocals, you can now route all 12 to the same reverb via a send to the desired level based on how much reverb you would like to hear on your background vocals. Now bear in mind that we're still just using one reverb to carry out this technique, making it very efficient. Okay guys, that was the fun fact for this Friday. Thanks for watching and as always, you'll see me in the next video.